Hey everybody, my name is Ash. Welcome to the bench. I'm in time for the hype train this time. The last time with the X-Batch, I missed it. I made my review too late. Totally missed the hype train. It had already moved on to Dunhill Icon Racing. This time I'm in the front car of the hype train. Today I'm taking a look at Parfums Vintage's new release, Verbena Fields. This is inspired by Creed Green Irish Tweed. So Parfums Vintage has finally gotten around to doing what's probably the second most popular Creed fragrance for men. I'm going to go over the differences between Verbena Fields and Green Irish Tweed, tell you whether or not it's worth purchasing or sampling, and I'm going to do a giveaway of a sample pack as well. So let's jump into it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and check out this presentation. Here you have one of the new boxes. You have the Parfums Vintage Seal, name of the fragrance, size and concentration down here at the bottom. On the side, you just have a caution warning. On the other side, the ingredients, and at the top, another Parfums Vintage Seal. On the back, you have that Parfums Vintage picture that everybody loves so much. Look at that, blown up nice and big to take up the whole back of the box. And on the bottom, you have a little more ingredient information. There's no batch code here on the box or the bottle. So here we have the bottle for Verbena Fields. So this is going to look very familiar to anybody that's seen a Parfums Vintage video or owned a Parfums Vintage fragrance. It's the same bottle style used across their entire line. On here is just a sticker. You have the Parfums Vintage seal, the name of the fragrance right here. The cap does look a little smaller on these, and it is a black wooden cap, very lightweight. Doesn't click into place, but it slides in snug enough that you can pick it up from the cap if you want to. Atomizer on these sprays out a good amount of fragrance. It's very easy to control how much you're spraying. It's high quality stuff. On the bottom, you have a sticker that just has the name of the fragrance, size and concentration. Again, no batch code. So there we have the presentation for Verbena Fields. Also need to let you guys know that this was sent to me for review by Parfums Vintage. This actually just became available on their website. As of right now, it says there's a 10 day dispatch time. So that's an estimate as to how long it would take for it to be dispatched if you were to purchase it today. If you're watching this in the future, I'm sure that's changed. Now there are actually two releases that Parfums Vintage did that are both inspired by Green Irish Tweed. There's this one, Verbena Fields, and there's also Emerald Isle, which I also just went ahead and picked up. Because when it comes to Green Irish Tweed, I had to make sure that I went ahead and got both of them. Now the name here, Verbena Fields, should give away what the main difference is between this and Green Irish Tweed. This basically takes that lemon verbena note, amps it up. It takes that violet leaf note, tones it down. So what does that mean? It means that in the opening, Verbena Fields is a little bit less green and it's more soapy than the original Green Irish Tweed. And the one that I'm comparing it to is a 2012 batch of Green Irish Tweed. Because Parfums Vintage basically said that they wanted to take those older batches, wanted to kind of reinvent them, amp up some of the notes that have been toned down in more modern batch releases, and they took that in two different directions, which is why there's two different releases. Now back to these two. Green Irish Tweed has a much brisker, sharper green opening. Verbena Fields, again, has more of a soapy opening. It is green, just not as green as Green Irish Tweed. It's also smoother than Green Irish Tweed, which you would expect because this one is sharper. Verbena Fields doesn't really have that metallic kind of edge that you can get off the top with Green Irish Tweed. Everything is rounded off and toned down a little bit, at least as far as the aggressiveness of the opening. And where Green Irish Tweed has more violet leaf, more iris, it has a little bit more depth than the opening. Now that is to take nothing away from Verbena Fields. If you imagine Green Irish Tweed through the opening into the mid as being more of a soapy green fragrance with floral citrus nuances, that's what this guy smells like. It dries down fairly quickly, and then along with that green soapy opening, it starts to meld into kind of a, a creamy, musky dry down. To my nose, the violet leaf is really mitigated here, and the lemon verbena really takes the center stage. So that slightly metallic or even green aquatic feel that you get from Green Irish Tweed in the mid, that's toned down substantially. And when it dries all the way down, which is three plus hours into the fragrance's lifetime, these smell almost identical. At that point, it is really splitting hairs to tell the difference between these two. I had my wife smell them side by side, and she couldn't tell the difference at all. She said they just smell the same. And honestly, in that far dry down, it is nitpicking to tell differences between the two at all. They're that close. So the simplest way to break this down is that Verbena Fields is green Irish tweed, only with the violet leaf mitigated and the verbena amped up. Are there other small differences there? Yeah, there are, but that's the most glaring one. That's the most obvious. Now, is it worth owning? If you're a fan of Green Irish Tweed, 
and you want an alternative that has similar quality to the Creed in terms of ingredients, then you're not going to find a better alternative than Verbena Fields and Emerald Isle. I'll be doing a video on Emerald Isle soon. That one goes more of a violet leaf route, whereas this one is lemon verbena. So it really depends on what you like about Green Irish Tweed. Do you like more of the violet leaf or more of the verbena? Do you like it more metallic, a little more in your face? Or do you like it smoother and more subdued? Do you like a really brisk green or a more soapy green? Depending on how you answer those questions is probably which way you would lean as far as these two releases go. But again, I'll dedicate a video to Emerald Isle before long. Most of you out there are aware Green Irish Tweed is one of my absolute favorites of all time. This will now be an alternative for me for Green Irish Tweed, much like Pineapple Vintage Intense is for Aventus. It's not the exact same, but it's a really nice reimagination of what Green Irish Tweed would be if some of the accords and notes were balanced differently. For me, it is 100% worth checking out. It's badass. Really, really nice stuff. And at this point, it kind of becomes apparent to me what Parfums Vintage is doing. They're taking fragrances that people really like and then taking the accords that they like most from those fragrances, reimagining them and amping them up. With Pineapple Vintage, it was the pineapple note. And then with some iterations, that smoky note. So you got a big overload of pineapple or a big overload of smoke because that's what people liked most about Aventus. Now with Green Irish Tweed, it's either the Verbena or the Violet. Whichever you like the most, there's a version now that has that really amplified. And I believe as of right now, they're working on a fragrance that is inspired by Bleecker Street. And assuming they go that route, they would be taking that blueberry note that everybody loves, or seems to love, and then amping it up. And I, for one, actually really like that. Because it's taking fragrances and again, accords that people already really like, amping up different parts of it and reimagining it. And we've gotten some really nice fragrances out of them doing that. So I'm excited to see what they'll do next. But again, as far as Verbena Fields and Emerald Isle go, really, really, really good alternatives to Green Irish Tweed. Quality is much higher than what you'll find in other inspired by fragrances, just like in Pineapple Vintage. And honestly, they would have had to really screw this up for me to dislike it because I love Green Irish Tweed so much. And now it's like I have three different versions of Green Irish Tweed, which kicks ass. Now, as far as performance, this is 100% on par with my 2012 Green Irish Tweed. Like, deadlocked. Exactly the same. Now, Green Irish Tweed is not a beast fragrance, but I do get really good longevity from this, and this. Eight hours is typical. Projection is more in the moderate range, but 100% gets the job done. Just like Green Irish Tweed, very versatile, casual, formal, office wear. You could wear it to a date, as long as you like rocking green type fragrances. Day or night, though obviously leans day. Realistically though, wear it whenever you want, who cares? There we go, Verbena Fields. If you like this fragrance, then I would say there's at least a 95% chance that you'll really like this fragrance. Now, as far as those samples, those are actually the ones that I got in, so they're, they're partially used, but I will still send them out to one of you out there. The samples include Verbena Fields, Emerald Isle, and the other new release, Intrigo Devastante and Intrigo Devastante Intense. Now that one, is an inspired by fragrance of Dolce & Gabbana by Man, which is one of those holy grail discontinued fragrances. And I can tell you, it smells great. Crazy, crazy expensive. And there are lots of knockoffs out there too. So that one is just a pain in the ass if you try to buy it nowadays. So that fragrance is going to serve a great need for people out there who want to smell that fragrance, but are never going to be able to pony up the amount of money that it costs to get a real bottle, or people that love that fragrance in the past and now don't want to drop $400 on a bottle. And I'll review that one in the future too. But yeah, with this giveaway, once we hit 500 likes on this video, random comment picker, I will pin the winner at the top of the video in the comments section. Come back and check that after 500 likes. Reach out to me, whoever wins, and I will get you your samples so you can try all four of these. If this fragrance really screwed up Green Irish Tweed and made it smell poor, if they just didn't pull it off, I would let you guys know because that would really suck to me, considering this one's my favorite Creed. Uh, but they did it justice and more. So yeah, if you're interested, check it out on their website. I'll leave a link in the description. If you have managed to get your hands on this one, let me know what you think about it. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.